Hello, in this video tutorial I'd like to show you how to edit your teacher web page. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your school from the select a school menu at the top of the screen. And once you are on your school, then you are going to want to log in. So click on the login button and you will type in your username and your password and you will log in. This should be the same username and password that you use to log on to your computer. Next we will go to our staff directory and under the staff directory you will pick your grade or department that uh, you will be teaching in and you will click there on that particular link. This will take you to all the teacher grade uh, web pages that are in that section. I'm going to go into my training session uh, web page to show you how to do this. So once now that I'm on my page you notice that across the top of the page you have this toolbar so that you can edit your page. We are going to look at how to edit the home page. So once I have got to my home page, I will come up here to design mode and I will turn on the design mode. There is a chance that when you log in for the first time, you are going to see this uh, at the top that is the drag and drop menu. This is not a, a great way to work within this web page. So my advice is to go ahead and disable drag and drop to begin with so that we just have the menu here. We also want to make sure that design mode is turned on. So if design mode is turned off, all you do is click where it says off and it will turn design mode on. And you notice now that each portlet on the page is now in edit form. There are several buttons. You have your edit button that we will be going into. You have your history where you can go back and look at previous versions of this same portlet. You have a minimize, which would minimize this portlet, which I have never done. And then you have the delete portlet. I want to caution you on delete portlet. If you delete this portlet, there is no way of getting it back. There is no history of this portlet once it's deleted. There is a history as long as this portlet exists. So do not click the X because if you delete it, it would have to be completely rebuilt from scratch. So let's look at how to edit your page. You're going to click on the edit button and it's going to take you directly into the page. This is a what you see is what you get screen or the acronym for that is a WYSIWYG screen and what you see on the page is what you're going to get uh, once you publish the information. You'll notice at the top that you do have the ability to just save a draft so that it's not published for the world to see. So if you're in the middle of working and you don't have quite time uh, to finish this, you could just save the draft and next time you come into edit mode that information would still be there. If you're ready for everything to go live, you just click on publish. You'll notice you have many tools up here at the top and we'll come back and look at some of those tools later. The main thing is you want to get this part uh, of the page the way you want it to be and make it yours. Remember you're branding yourself not only for your students but for the parents and for our community members. So the first thing I would I'm going to do is I am going to change this and say welcome to Tech Apps if that was the class I was teaching and I may not want my whole name here so I'm going to change this to Miss Kelso. Down below where it says about me, your principal is going to give you some information, but you're going to want to put your classroom phone number and you're going to want to put at least your email. Now, the next thing you'd want to do is maybe link your email so that when someone clicks on your email, it actually opens up an email uh, in the browser. So if you highlight your email, you'll notice that right up here is a little world with a link on it. And this is our hyperlink manager. So if I want to make a hyperlink, I just click there. And you'll notice you have three different things. You could hyperlink just a website URL here, or you can do 
an email address. So I am going to put my email address and I'm just going to copy it since I have it there below and paste it. You can put in a subject if you want and that subject would show on the email. However, the person writing the email has the opportunity to change that if they want. I will click OK and notice it changed to a hyperlink. You would also want to include on this page a short bio of yourself uh, and we will look at how to change your image out in a future tutorial. So at this point I would be ready to publish my page so I just simply click on publish and once I have published my page is exactly the way I saw it before I went here. When I click on the link it's going to actually open up an email for me to send an email out. Okay. So that's how you edit your teacher web page. Thank you.